Hi folks, uh, right, uh, back to basics for this, for a couple now. I've just cut a whole sheet of A3 and two, two, two pieces, I've got one behind me, uh, to A4. Uh, to, 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 try, well, to try to explain uh, oil painting, now, this also applies to acrylic, uh, but I've just got all the oils out, that's why I haven't got back to acrylic. It'd probably be all hard when I hardened when I do go back to it. Uh, but using just the three primaries, ultramarine, uh, burnt, uh, ultramarine, paints. Oh dear, I dare get you together, though. My head's all over the place at the moment. Uh, vermilion and cadmium yellow pale with um, Payne's grey. Now that is a neutral colour, so we don't include that in the. Uh, lexicon of colours. Uh, right, okay, so I want to do a couple of uh, simple meadow, meadow paintings. I love doing them, they're quite easy if you, once you've had a lot of practice. Uh, they can be very, very uh, frustrating or they can be very, very lovely. So uh, we're coming up to autumn now and I went out to go to, a, to see a, a, my nurse have my yearly checkup, which is mostly okay. Uh, stupidity doesn't feature on uh, my appraisal. Uh, so here we are, having fun with paint. I've got some. I've got, I'll, I'll I'll put in some linseed in my my uh, cup here. Well, a bit of a uh, bit of drying linseed or. or Good liquid, give it a good shake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just a dollop, one a small dollop. Just helps the paint to dry. Ah, uh, just a drop, there we go. If you buy liquid or uh, a uh, fast drying oil, I would recommend the 250ml bottle. And then with the black cap, cut it off with a, with a stand. And I've sliced one up uh, away from your, your body course uh, and then you just put a couple of slits in peel it back get it off and then you don't have to keep twisting this thing to get it open because of all the clicks so there we are that's a good tip uh, right I've got my, my brush uh, the first thing to do is, is to get a sky so have a nice nice ordinary blue sky The idea really is to, 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 to get a sky in, just get that out of the way and then you can change it whenever you like, you add bits, darken, lighten, now as we're coming down from the, from the, from the top, from the zenith, I suppose that's what it is, um, we, we lighten the the colour, the intensity of the blue. I know it's obvious, but uh, so we come down to to a horizon, and we're going to overpaint. This paper is uh, an oil paper. It's not canvas, but it it does work very well. Oh, there we are. That's got a bit, uh, a bit too yellow, so we'll. Ch oh, God, dear, that's mucky. So another bit of toweling. So if you get into oil painting, ask all your relatives and friends to to sort out their worn out towels. Nothing else, not not tea cloths, but towels, toweling, because you'll need them. Acrylic, it doesn't matter because that dries quick, and then you can clean your brushes in the water. But this is oil painting, so okay. Uh, now we'll get some nice, nice cloud colour in here. So, you're using white now, you can make big puffy clouds. A 
Oh, not until heaven. Do a bit, leave it, go back to it. A bit of Payne's grey, I think. And that blue. And it's a bit dark. So I'll put in a bit of cloud shadow. You can just, no, you really need just the blue, really. But this is your shadow. I'll keep it as simple as possible. Let's get some, some low down. Some under that cloud, some lights coming through. And one big cloud. You don't want to overload it too much. That's, that's fair enough. Use a bit of a bit of white in here. Then we can have some fun. So we've done most of the painting there. So our trees are going to go up to there. Well it's not quite up to there. Let's uh, bring that down a little bit. Right okay. Uh, that it, my yellow ochre is very strong. It's only student quality, but it's uh, that's better. Now, when I've done these two, which I hope to do, I'm going to go and uh, bottle my beer, siphon my beer off into bottles, clean the bottles first. So I like my homemade beer. Right, uh, now now we've got blue, yellow, red. Okay, a bit of, bit of oil. A bit of red. Right, okay, we'll start here. We just... Oh, that's a bit too heavy, isn't it? Try and leave gaps in the in the foliage for birds to fly through you don't really want a solid bit. And, and what we're trying to do is not show any detail we don't like detail we like texture we can come down there with the, the, the uh, darker paint and we can go in really, really. Hey, look at that. See, you can get a nice shadow underneath. Just take that up a little bit higher. Oh, we'll add a bit more blue. You can use white in, in, in your mixes if you want. We're just interested in uh, in creating a, a web of uh, colour so we can go more blue in there. Right, okay, so that's a start. Now we've got to put in some land here and some good good land. Let's get some dark in there. So that we get, get a good contrast between the dark and the light. Right. This is a big bush here. So you can put a bit of lighter paint in here. 
and a bit of darker, darker painting. Whoops, just got a bit of, in the white. I didn't really want that. Cool. There's a a hurricane going over. It's gone over Tampa. I've got relatives in St. Petersburg. Oh dear, I hope they're okay. We've been to Florida four times. Got a lot of family over up in New York. I'm saying that because uh, a lot of my American friends. Try to hold your brush like that, rather than like that. that. Now, we need um, some foreground now, so we can have nice yellow, bit of a bit of oil, or not that much. But you can see how brilliant the white mixed with that yellow, the cadmium yellow pale. Just uh, put the grass in there, but we've got to put a darker bit in, in there because it clashes with the uh, with the field. All right, so we want a bit of dark. Let's use a bit of Payne's grey. Uh, so we've got to get a bit of light against dark there. And now we can do that with a bit of, uh, I'm not using any ochre. Uh, I did use some in there, didn't I? But I didn't mean to, I forgot. So we'll have a uh, blue. You could get some lovely, lovely mixes with just the three colours. I'm using sh sh sort of sh short impressionist strokes. I'll we'll put a bit of white in there. So that counter changes too. And we'll have a bit of bit of mauvey colour. Bit of red, blue, bit of white. We can put some a pond in there, or oh, some water. You can see there's a slight tooth to this lovely paper. I keep promoting it, I, I reckon it's where I buy it for, it's going, it's going to run out. And I'll be left bereft. Let's get some bright in there then. The counter change is most important, but that's why I'm doing a three colour one, just to show you how to do it. Now we want a bit of bit of shadow under here. Uh, bit of blue. We'll add, a, we'll add a bit more autumn colour in front of that. I wanted that blue there to show a bit of a counter change, but it didn't seem to work very well. I'll we'll just go back to, back to this. Uh, 
Hey, it's out. Raining. Oh dear, that's the end of summer for us, I think. Okay, um, we'll put a bit of uh, stuff in here. I call it stuff. I didn't mean to do that. I went into the uh, paint spray, but you can use paint paint spray. It darkens and lightens. But try to do something that is uh, pretty or beautiful. Let's get some, oh no, 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 no ochre, we've got to stick to the, to what we started with, oh, so. Let's right, okay, we just want to get a bit of green around here. And a bit of shadow. Uh, blue, red. Right, now we can put a bit of marsh in, a bit of white, blue, reflecting the sky. Okay, we're nearly there. Oh, look like that. Yeah, yeah. It's just one. Th oh, yeah, we just want to put a bit of heavier stuff. Brew. So we're here just to counter change over that it's a bit of marsh now. Just put that dark shadow in there from the foliage. Uh, that is just a little bit too dark in there. A bit of red with that, so warm it up a bit. Okay, and if you want, you can put a bird in. Uh, that uh, I love mixing these uh, lovely reds. A bit, of, a bit of shadow underneath here. Right, there we are. That's one. We'll, uh, I'll dismantle because I want to put that in a mound. God, oh, my fingers get pins and needles. Okay, I don't want to that on the floor because I keep doing that. Although I'm working on a carpet on top of a carpet tile, so um, it doesn't really matter. Well, there we are. 
that's uh, your painting. Very, very simple. Three colours. I hardly use uh, any of the paints grey. But uh, they're very effective and sometimes they turn out really beautiful. Just move that along there a little bit. Alright, there we are. See you soon. Bye bye, folks.